Hey there folks, welcome to the very first Behind the Sales Real Estate Cautionary Tales. With over 23 years of full-time experience in real estate, I have a few stories that I can share. Uh, here's a more recent one. Today's story has a lesson that could save you thousands of dollars. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfy, and let's dive into this roller coaster of a transaction. So picture this. I've got a house listed on the market, listed at a solid $850,000. The price has been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> so it's fully staged, the marketing ads are up and running, and we have plenty of showings, things are looking great, woohoo! Our story kicks off with a buyer swooping in, making a great offer, full price, no closing costs, the seller happily accepts, and we are under contract. Everything seems peachy, right? Well, hold on. Just when you think you're cruising down Easy Street, a curveball is thrown your way. Or, in our case, our way. About five or six days into our contract, the buyer wants to make a change, raising the price by $20,000 and then asking for $20,000 towards their closing costs. With interest rates where they are right now, totally understandable so we agree here's the kicker we include a clause that ties those closing costs to the appraisal value if the appraisal falls short the closing cost contribution drops proportionally a move that would later prove to be a game changer fast forward a bit we receive the news we've all been waiting for the house appraised at full value as is no work orders cheers all around but wait, there's more. We're told we can close early, a real cherry on top. However, the house is fully staged. The stager is out of town and can't destage until just before our closing date. Oh well, guess we'll have to keep the original closing date. No big whoop. As we approach the finish line, things start to drag. Things get kind of curious, to use a nice word. The underwriter starts making strange requests asking the buyer to sign things that shouldn't be signed, requesting an addendum that was never used. Hmm. Seller agrees to extend the closing date by a week. It's not ideal, but hey, it's real estate and shit happens. Just a couple of days before the new closing date, the lender drops a bombshell. They never received the price change addendum. Oh, and guess what? The house only appraised for $850. Yes? You heard me right. The same price we started with. How did no one notice this for three weeks after the appraisal came in? It's like a comedy of errors, but not the funny kind at all. The lender only realized something was amiss when the numbers didn't add up between them and escrow, which prompted them to request the price change addendum, but by then it was too late. The buyer had to cough up an extra $20,000 at the last minute because they hadn't reviewed the appraisal. So what's the takeaway from this roller coaster ride of a deal? If you're the buyer, always, and I mean always, review the appraisal. It's crucial to protect your interests. Had they caught this earlier, who knows? Maybe we could have worked something out by getting the addendum sent over to the appraisal management company and asking for a second look. The world will never know. Luckily, the buyer had been diligently gathering funds based on the lender's guidance, which was based on the original purchase price, including both the down payment and all the closing costs. In the end, we crossed the finish line and the buyer moved into their new home but without the benefit of that extra $20,000. If you like this episode of Behind the Sales, please give this video a thumbs up because then I'll know to make more content like it and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any real estate needs, please give the Lisa Bender Sound to Summit team a call where you get old fashioned service using today's tech. And until I have a chance to talk to you, read your appraisal and take good care. Bye-bye.